So let's have a look at the coefficient and what does coefficient actually mean for linear regression. So remember what our purpose is. We are trying to predict based on the past house prices, based on the size of the house. So if the size of the house is 650, then it was sold for 200. So these are the actual past prices. And what we're trying to do is we're just trying to predict this formula over here, as you can see. So we are just trying to predict the formula for this line. So the formula for this line is actually something we did in our math classes at school which is we use m value multiplied by the size plus b so what are these so m is actually your coefficient so what does that mean is every time the house price goes up by one you multiply the size of the house so if we have a size of one you multiply it by this value and if you have a size of two you multiply it by this value so you get that bit over here so that's m there is basically your coefficient for the m value and of course size is based on what size of the house you're trying to predict and this b value is the intercept so over here we have an intercept of 79 so let's play this formula out so if we have for example now this is not true but if we have a house which is of size zero and we try and predict its price what you'll see is it matches the intercept value so 79.69 k and 79.689 but if you round that off that makes it 69 so 79.69 79.69 but if we increase the price so if we increase the size of the house over here and change it to one and then run this what you'll see is the price has actually gone up by this value so the reason this has happened is it has taken the the intercept which is value over here then it has added to it m times size so so what was m times size so we said one so it has basically added on one coefficient value of 0 0.211 so if we get our calculator here and manually work this out so we've got the coefficient here so we'll take that value so that's the value uh, that's the coefficient value and we'll multiply it by one so that just basically gives you the value itself plus we will add in the intercept value over here so now we've added the intercept value over here to match that so we got the total value and now when we press the equal sign notice that the price we get is 79.90 and that's why you get this predicted from the model when you have a house size of one